Hello, happy October. I want to welcome you to the first ever Blogging Friends blog hop and I'm going to share with you my project and how I did it on a really quick video. I'm going to try and do this super fast. So the card is pretty simple. It's a square card so that poses a little bit of a challenge but it also is a great advantage because you can get a lot of these out of one piece of designer series paper. That's the Stampin' Up! way of saying um, uh, pattern paper. So uh, the paper is 12 by 12 so this base square is designer paper that is cut to 4 by 4. This first layer is 4 and a quarter, I mean 4 and an eighth by 4 and an eighth and then the base for the card is going to be your 11 by 4 and a quarter. So you can still get two of these out of a sheet of paper and you'll have a little bit of orange left over. This is actually I believe our new Tangelo twist and some black embossing powder, some basic black ribbon. This is um, a little crochet trim. So all these things are available on from your Stampin' Up! demonstrator and if you don't have one of course you can check out the links from my online store. Here's the inside of the card. Just says Happy Halloween, Little Pumpkin. That's from another Halloween stamp we currently have. All this information will be in my post. So the thing that I really wanted to show you is how to make the envelope. So if you have an envelope uh, punch board, you can make an envelope if you don't need to you know, be cautious about how much designer series paper you have. But if you don't have a lot of designer series paper and you're making a good number of cards, this is a great way to make a square envelope. So it's really a twofold reason. By going with four and a quarter by four and a quarter, we can take our traditional envelope that's our medium envelope. This is it right here and you're just going to take it and cut it down to a square. So this dimension measures four and three eighths. So we're going to cut this at four and three eighths. When you cut that at four and three eighths, this is what you have. Okay, so we have this little piece right here. And this is part of the envelope. And what we're going to do is we're going to seal this part shut. I won't show you me licking it on camera. That would be really awful. So, and then we're going to take a little piece of paper This is how a quick video gets longer when you can't find your little piece of paper. And you're just going to cut it to that four and three eighths by two. And then I scored it at a half inch. And we're just going to fold that over. Then you take your little corner rounder, you round these corners, and if you want, you can round these corners also. If you want to tuck this lip inside your envelope, rounding those quarters will help you do that. But I really like to just take and use um, our new um, white paper tape here and I put a piece on this flap for when I want to seal the envelope and I put a piece on this flap and then I just sealed it right on top of the envelope here. And that just gives you an adorable little envelope. You pop it open, you've got your pretty little ghosts, and it's really cute. Now you will have to pay extra postage for this because it's not um, a rectangle, so you might want to go on to your um, postage website, or you might want to just hand deliver it. So there you go. There's my project. I hope that was quick enough and that you didn't get bored, but I think it's a really great way to make a square envelope and to really utilize your designer paper um, without a lot of waste. And of course you wouldn't have to match that to your envelope if you used up all of these on your Halloween cards. You could always pick one of the other patterns in the pack for that little flap and it would still be absolutely adorable. All right, have a great day and I hope you enjoy the next um, stamper on the blog hop. Take care.